point today we are to look at taxonomy of educational objectives and this area normally come um, in the uh, principal superintendent aptitude tests and AD2 and sometimes um, AD1 so this area is very key to the success of promotion exams stay glued to your your sets or have a comfort in your chair and let's go through this area so that any question that will come from this area you able to answer and answer it well if you're a new member passing by or coming across my tutorials kindly subscribe like the video liking the video is very important or liking the tutorial is very important and sharing it with your friends is also very important so we are looking at um, taxonomy of educational objectives taxonomy of educational objectives so when we are talking about uh, taxonomy of educational objective it simply means classifying learning objective into the various level of toughness um, complexity and difficulties that is the simple definition of taxonomy of educational um, objective so when you look at other definitions they also um, tell us about the hierarchical scheme for classifying learning objectives into various level of complexity or various level of difficulties or various level of toughness in learning and this um, um, educational objectives have been classified into three um, domains three domains of the educational objectives one is the cognitive domain objectives then two the affective domain objectives and the last one is the psychomotor domain of educational objectives so these are the three domains of um, educational objectives and in learning you need to know these things how learners react to learning or how learners learn and in these three domains we are looking at the cognitive domain um, objectives what it means so the cognitive domain objective produce outcome that simply focus on acquiring knowledge or ability of um, the memory to remember or the mind to remember the ability of the mind to think the ability of the mind to reason well in the learning objectives so cognitive domain objective produce are come that focuses on the knowledge ability and abilities of requiring memory thinking um, uh, reasoning process then let's look at the affective um, domain objectives what it focuses on so affective domain um, objective also produce outcome that focus on the feeling 
the interests, the attitudes, the emotional state of the learner and the disposition of the learner. So in learning, the affective domain here simply focus on what the child is interested in, how the child feels about learning, the attitude that the child puts in, and the emotional state of the learner in learning situation and what the person is having that is the disposition this position then the last aspect or the third one is the psychomotor domain objective the psychomotor um, domain objective also focus on producing outcomes that is based on the motor skills and perceptual process, how the child perceives learning, how the child uses his physical um, body or the hands or the legs to um, learn or to display learning. So let's take into consideration of these or let's learn them when they come into the promotion exams. We're able to um, deal and deal with them very well. So in 1956, Blooms picked one of the educational objective and classifying subtopics under the domain that he took in 1956 and he picked the cognitive um, objective and also classified it into various or into six um, headings and explain it is complexity of learning so this domain was um, named or termed as Bloom Taxonomy of Educational Objectives, the cognitive um, domain, as Bloom in 1956 um, came out with um, subheadings or topics or titles under this domain, that is the cognitive domain, and he named it as Bloom Taxonomy of Educational Objective. So the taxonomy classifies educational objectives into six main um, headings, six main headings under the cognitive, under the cognitive. And one is um, knowledge, knowledge of the um, cognitive domain and what it simply means that involve the recall of specific facts if the child is able to learn and after the learning if the child is able to recall um, able to name able to um, define or able to um, outline or recall or recognize or label or list or match facts, it means that the child has acquired knowledge. So the first heading is the knowledge. The, this objective um, includes the idea of the child recurring or recognition of knowledge and the development of intellectual um, ability and skills. That is the first heading under the sixth um, classification of the cognitive um, domain. Then two um, is understanding and comprehension. Understanding. So if the child has learned, the child has acquired knowledge, the child should be able to um, grasp the meaning of the material. And grasping the meaning of the material, it is shown by translating the material from one 
still to another if the child understand what ever is taught the child should be able to translate it if the child has comprehension of what is being taught the learner or the student should be able to translate it into um, different forms and in that the child should be able to interpret the material like explaining or summarizing um, whatever is being taught that is understanding and comprehension so the child should be able to um, convert explain summarize this um, learning then let's look at the third one that is application if the child has acquired knowledge and the child is having the understanding of the material being taught the child should be able to use the knowledge into different situations when he encounter any problem that is the application of the knowledge application so this refers to the ability to use learn material in new and a concrete situation so if the child is able to use the knowledge that is learned in the classroom in the community to solve a problem that is it means it actually means that the child has learned and the child has understood whatever learning situation that has taken place so in this the child should be able to use the rules methods concepts principles in new situations to solve a problem that is the application of the knowledge then if the child is able to um, use the new or use the learned material in various situations the child should be able to analyze that is the fourth point that is analyze this is the ability to break down the material into um, parts so that its organizational structure may be understood so if the child is able to, um, to acquire knowledge understand the concept able to use the new concept or the learned material in an, a new situation then after that the child should be able to um, analyze whatever he or she has learned and in doing that the child should be able to break down the learned material into parts and in doing that it means that the child has actually understand the child has actually um, learned something and it is very important we looked at this so the fourth one is analyze breaking the material learned into um, components or into parts and getting the understanding of the broken parts that the child um, the learning that the child has um, acquired then then the fifth one of this um, six classification is um, synthesis synthesis this refers to the ability to um, put together the broken or the analyzed material that the child has made or the learning that the child has made and was able to break it down the child should be able to assemble the learning parts so that it will help the learner to understand it well so synthesis the ability to put the parts together to form a new whole and this um, involved the production of a unique communication or a plan of operation and in doing that the child if the child is able to combine or to put together or able to um, categorize all the parts that um, he analyzed them then it simply means that the child really understands what he or she has learned then if the child is able to put all the parts together then after that the child should be able to evaluate that is the sixth point evaluation of whatever he or she has learned in a classroom and trans translate it into 
uh, new situations. So evaluation is the sixth point. This is the ability to judge the value of the material being learned by the learner. And it is very important. If the child is able to judge the value, um, the importance of the material being learned, it means that the child has really understood whatever he or she has learned. So the judgment are based on a definite criteria. And if the child is able to appraise, able to contrast, and able to support with um, his learning material, then it means that the child has actually learned something. And these are some of the things that we need to know before we go and write our promotion exams. Kindly go through this and we shall meet another time to look at the various examples and the keywords under these um, six um, main headings of the cognitive domain being termed as the Bloom Taxonomy of Educational Objectives.